For those of you who are taking courses at the Universidad Autónoma de Aguas Calientes, I have created this short video to explain how to access some of the uh, databases that are available in the, on the online library. So the first step is to go into the web page, select uh, the bit digital library here, and go into Recursos Electrónicos Listado Completo. And here you'll see a long list of many of the databases that are currently available. And what I'd like to do here is to talk to you about 15 or 16 databases that I think are most relevant for those students who are currently enrolled in the bachelor's degree program in English language teaching. So the first database uh, is the Academic Search Complete EBSCO. This is probably the most popular um, database and uh, it's very useful. So feel free to use this for, uh, for your searches. There's some other really good databases. Let's scroll down here and see what else. Uh, Cambridge Journals, this is a good database. The Directory of Open Access Journals is another very good source. ERIC is another good source. Sometimes students have problems accessing ERIC through the link that's provided here within uh, the web page. So you can also access ERIC outside of the databases just by Googling ERIC you'll find uh, the link here. This is a, a governmental, U.S. government website and it's available to, to everyone. So you can access it outside the university uh, webpage if need be. Let's see what else here. Um, Gale is a very good source. Inehi might be good if you're looking for any statistics to support your answers, statistics specifically to Mexico, so Inehi might be useful. JSTOR is a good source. OECD is another good source. Oxford University Press, I would uh, check out as well. Research Teaching English is a very good source. SAGE, definitely check out SAGE journals. There's many uh, journals within this link here that uh, you'll find useful. Science Direct is a good source, as well as Springer and Taylor and Francis, and Web of Science and Wiley. So these are about 15 or 16 databases that I think are most relevant for students who are currently enrolled in the BA program in English language teaching. I think you'll find what you're looking for in uh, these databases. If for some reason you're not able to find uh, sources, then check really closely or work very closely with your instructor to make sure that you're using the correct terms and uh, maybe if you need to modify slightly your inquiry or your focus, uh, that might also be uh, required. But uh, I highly recommend that you work very closely with your teacher if for any reason you're not able to find uh, the information by accessing all these 15 or 16 databases that I mentioned uh, here. Okay, so I would like to conclude by giving you a few tips for searching for information. So when you sign in to your uh, to the database, I recommend going to the advanced search feature and most databases or at least some databases will allow you to search for the complete text as well as search for academic articles or peer review articles. So if those options are provided, make sure that you check those options. Here you'll see that you have an option to search or do what's called a Boolean search where you can use a combination of search terms in your inquiry. So let's say that I want to look for assessment and I want to use or I want to search for English language learners and let's say I don't know motivation. So I'm going to type motivation and then again make sure my boxes are checked for complete text and peer review. I'm going to do a search. So notice I had 12 hits here. I had 12 results from this combination of search terms. And most of these should be full text. Now let's say that you don't have any or you don't find any results using the search terms that you used. You can eliminate or even substitute and try or experiment with other search terms to see how that affects your results. In this case, instead of 12 results, I'm going to have 220 results. If I, for some reason, want to remove another search term, I'm going to get a lot more than 220 more like almost 700,000 uh, hits. So you'll see that uh, depending on how you uh, 
uh, use your terms, how many terms you use, uh, try to experiment so that you can kind of filter through some of the results and find uh, what you need in a quicker way. Now when you go to Google, I'm going to use DuckDuckGo, but let's say that I want to do a similar search, a similar Boolean search, I can use those same terms. And you'll notice I'm doing something a little bit different in this case. And motivation. So when I do this search, and again, this is the same if you're using Google. I like to use DuckDuckGo because it's a private search, so it doesn't save uh, it. Uh, it doesn't save the searches that you do. But it's the same concept. Notice that I, I'm using these operators or this operator and all in all uppercase, and I'm using the same search terms that I used before. In this case, with English language learner, because it's a phrase, I'm going to use quotation marks so that it respects uh, that as a phrase. And you'll notice here I have my results. So this is another way that you can use a Boolean search, a combination of key terms or searchable terms. And in this case I'm using the operator AND. I could also use the operator uh, NOT. You can use NOT or you can use the operator OR. So NOT, OR, and AND I think are the most common operators that you can use when doing a Boolean search. Just remember that when you use these operators that they are in all uppercase. Because if they're not in all uppercase, it won't work. It'll just search them for that term. So NOT, OR, and AND, try to use those for a Boolean search. This is what it looks like when you're using just a regular search browser. When you're in a uh, database, a lot of times it will provide you with the operators here and you enter the search terms here. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're uh, doing the search to filter through uh, your results. So uh, just a quick tutorial on how to find the databases here at the university through the database page and also just a couple of tips on how to use different search terms to find the different databases that are available, or the different articles uh, that are uh, freely available to those students who are enrolled in the University of Idaho of the Everest Cayenthes. If you do have any questions or issues or problems for trying to access articles, reach out to your teachers or feel free to contact me directly if you wish.